What's good everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today I'm getting ready to show you guys how I make a Cajun garlic shrimp served on top of some Parmesan cheese and peppercorn grits. Hey, super easy. I made these grits before. You guys can like tailor make and make any kind of grits you would like, but I suggest this combo right here with these garlic uh, shrimp. Oh my goodness. Hey, and also check this out. This is a collaboration between myself and Lyle from No Hippie Barbecue, which I'll put a link to his video down in the description box below. So you guys go by and check it out. So look, we call that a twofer. You know what, you get a chance to see this version and you can go by there and see what he doing. I know he's saying something slick, it's all good. Hey Lyle, I got you bro. I'm gonna let my shrimp and grits do my talking for me. Hey, with that being said you guys, hey, check this out. All right, we gonna go right over the ingredients. Hey listen, we gonna start off with, this right here is the chicken broth. You know, two cups of this. Now, I got the milk that's in the refrigerator. Listen, you wanna use one cup of milk. Just wanna let you know, that'll be down in the description box below so you guys can uh, see that, just in case you're not seeing it right now. All right, then we got one pound of shrimp. Hey, check this shrimp out, look at these. Now, I'm not gonna take you guys through it, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down the middle, devein them, you know, and peel them, get them nice and clean. All right, right here, we're gonna do one cup of grits. I got my Sweet Smoky Joes. You know, that's that Creole kick there. There it is, folks. Hey, this is my go-to, y'all. All right, then we got salt. I'm gonna mince these, you know, three garlic cloves. These are some big cloves too. Got some Parmesan cheese, this is shredded. Just a little bit, a little bit over a half a cup. I just wanna let you guys know, you guys put whatever you wanna put in there. You know, it's up to you how cheesy you want your grits to be. This right here, that's that fresh ground. Uh, look, I got that peppercorn in here. I'm gonna grind about one teaspoon of that and put it in those grits. And then right here, this the pan I'm gonna be cooking the, uh, the bacon in. And this is uh, right here, this is uh, five slices. You know what I mean? It's up to you how many slices you want to put in there. But I'm just getting ready to show you guys how you can have, you know, have it done like me, breakfast with AB style. All right, so look, now we're just gonna take our bacon, just cut it into whatever, how many of it's kind of slices, you know, pieces you want it to be. I mean, that's good enough for me. Now, to help you get the size that you want, you want to keep in mind that this is gonna be part of your, you know, like your presentation and sort of like a bacon bit. Now we can just go ahead and separate it. Look, the reason I'm showing you guys this way, just so that we don't overthink it. You know, I do a lot of things, you know what I mean, that, uh, you know, a lot of prep work, but this right here is like go-to. When it comes for me to, it come time for me to make, you know, shrimp, I got this down. Just follow this right here and you'll be okay. Now we just want to go ahead and get this going. Let's start with a medium high heat and let's cook us some bacon. Now once we're done with our bacon, that's what it should look like. Now it's on to, uh, to the next step. Now listen, you don't have to do this, but this was just me being fancy. Look, I got a skewer stick. I just went ahead and took the uh, shrimp. I kind of like straightened it out and I just like poked it all the way through. And the purpose of this is, I don't want them to be curly. You know, when you put them in the, inside of your pot, inside of your pan and you get them going, you know, they like to curl up. I want these to kind of like, you know, be almost like semi, let's just say semi straight. So you just want to repeat the process. There it is again, so you guys can see. You know what I mean? You just want it on there, you know, something like that. Any, anything like that is cool if you're looking for the look like what you saw on my thumbnail. Now you can do a traditional, you can just put the, uh, the shrimp in there without that. Now, you want to go ahead and make sure your, your uh, bacon grease is up to temperature. That's under like a, like a medium high, more towards like the medium side of it. And you just want to cook your shrimp. Now remember, listen, shrimp gonna cook fast. I'm gonna tell you this, in about two minutes, it's time to flip it. Now really, it depends on your heat. That determines how long they, you know, stay on the pan. Now right there, what you're seeing me is, I'm hitting it right now with that Creole kick. I'm just sprinkling it on there. Now again, if you're not doing this for this type of presentation, and you're doing it where you just put the, uh, you put your uh, Creole kick or your Cajun or your Creole seasoning in your pan along with your garlic and then you can put your, your shrimp in there. But if you're gonna use these skewer sticks, this is the way that I found is most, you know, I guess the, beauty, the uh, way I would say it would be the most effective, but super easy. Then when they're done, after about two minutes, you just flip them over. Keep this in mind, you guys, you don't wanna overcook your shrimp. If you cook them too long, they taste like you're chewing on the tire. That's all I can tell you. Hey, and yes, I am speaking from experience, you know, when I get sidetracked. Anyway, 
That right there after two minutes, then listen, we take them off. Now, one thing is missing, right? We don't have no garlic, but you can see that seasoning in there with that bacon grease, right? So now I'm just adding one tablespoon, check this out, one tablespoon of butter. You heard the saying, everything better with bacon? I got one for you. Everything's better with bacon and butter. All right, now go ahead and just put your, uh, you wanna put your minced garlic in there. Make sure you don't burn it. You see how I got it up off the heat? I'm just trying to get it to become fragrant and release some of that, you know, flavor and let that trio right there just marinate. And then I'm gonna put them back on the, look, I put it back on the stove to let it, you know, just, you know, boil just a little bit. And then we just gonna, you know, coat our shrimp. And that right there is what I call garlic shrimp, you guys. Hey, real simple. Now, just take them off. You know what, I got that on a, uh, a paper plate, you know, lined with a paper towel. You know, uh, we just set them off to the side, but look at that right there. You see that darkness? Ooh, that's a whole lot of flavor right there. Now we are gonna get to the grits. Now, you guys can use any type of grits that you want. You know what I mean? They can be stone ground, quick grits, whatever. Hey, I'm gonna call BS on all of that stuff about, hey, everybody saying stuff about instant grits. Those aren't instant grits though, but you know, everybody says that, but listen, we all got them in our, uh, in our cupboards. All right, so now you just saw me hit it. I hit it with the chicken stock first, right? I boiled the chicken stock. Once it became a boil, I went ahead and, you know, put one cup, which was my one cup of grits after that. Listen, you wanna keep going. If you guys know, some of you guys might think grits might be a little tricky, but listen, if you keep moving, keep it stirring, you know, and going from there, you can't go wrong. After you get the, you know, your grits in there, you come with your milk, you keep stirring, and then you know what? We gotta reduce that heat. You wanna reduce it down to low, and then what you saw right there is me hitting it with that Parmesan. After you hit it with the Parmesan cheese, you know, the shredded cheese, go ahead, stir it up. Once you got it mixed properly, then you wanna go ahead and grind yourself some of that fresh peppercorn. I just gotta tell you, listen, Parmesan cheese and fresh peppercorn, it makes the, hey, that turns grits to the next level. Now, it's time to go ahead and plate. Now, just go ahead and just pour some in the bowl, just like you see right there. Now, it's up to you. You can cook them longer to get them a little bit more thicker, but that's the, uh, the texture and consistency that I like. Now, it comes time to introduce, you know, and start doing our plating. We're gonna introduce these shrimp. What you gotta do is, you see how I turn it with my finger? You know, cause it's kinda like cooked onto that skewer. So you just turn it with just, you know, get it loosened up and then it just slide right out. And that right there, it's hard to keep from licking your fingers. Cause I can tell you this, you know what, that garlic shrimp, ooh my goodness, if you guys can smell it right now, it'll be a yeah, super, hey, I don't even know how to even really describe it. All I can tell you is, listen, it's mouth-watering. It's a mouth-watering experience. Now, that was me being fancy, you know, knowing that I'm going to be working with uh, Lyle from No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. Hey, listen, he does things, and I know when he get involved with something, that he's going to turn it up. So I thought this was a good collab, you guys. And now you guys get a chance to just see how I, uh, how I, you know, what kind of time and care that I put in, you know, like trying to get my, my plating and my presentation together. So right now I got it. Lyle's name and you know everything about him in my mind and I'm thinking about my thumbnail so what I did was I stood all of my uh, shrimp up and then look a little bit of that hey we just gonna call that that butter gravy you know what hey that right there that garlic gravy oh my goodness you just want to hey kind of like taste it then I decided you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some over this anyway now listen this is just for the picture because when it was done I can tell you this I just stirred it all up mixed it up together and I just ate it all now, what I did was I chopped up some uh, parsley, you know, sort of like fine. That's what you see right there. And I sprinkled it over the top to add some color and a little freshness to the uh, to the dish. And I want to say, you know, special thanks to all my channel memberships and all the names you guys see right there. A hey, thank you. And you know what? Couldn't do this without you guys. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Super easy to make. I'm going to tell you, there's real time. It depends on what type of grit you get. You know, if you get some people going to do it with instant. And I'm gonna say all the people that give me stuff about, hey, don't use no instant grits. I wanna know, if I look in your cupboards or your pantries right now, what would I find in there? Not for real. Hey, listen, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. I've made three of these. You know what, this is the third one. I like this one, and I'm not gonna give it in no type of order, but I want, to, I want you guys to let me know, for those of you guys that have made it, or even just looking at the, uh, the thumbnail, and tell me which one will be your number one. We gotta go by and check out Lyle from No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking and see what he brought to the table. Hey, so listen, you're getting a twofer. You're getting it AB's way and you're gonna get it Lyle's way. You guys go on by and check out his uh, channel. I'll leave a link down in the description box below so you guys can get go directly to his channel and go right to that video. Hey, 
With that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you guys know how I'm about to end this one. I'm out of here. Peace.